Weeknight dinners are all about keeping it simple. And that might mean taking a little shortcut, like picking up a rotisserie chicken. I've done that. Or it could mean keeping the prep and the cooking method to a minimum. And that's what we're doing today. We're making a one pan dinner where you cook the protein, the starch, and the vegetables in one pan, right? Uh, yep, it's called a sheet pan dinner. And they're all the rage these days. You see them all over. But the problem is you can't just throw all your favorite ingredients on a sheet pan, <laughs> shove it in the oven, and expect it to turn out right. They all have different cooking times. And so that's what you really have to pay attention to. And that's what we're gonna look at today. So when you buy salmon fillets, and this is skinless, if it has the skin on, you just remove it. And it's better if you don't buy the fillets individually cut, but you cut them yourself. That way you know they're from the same piece of salmon, so they're gonna cook at the same rate, and you can judge the size better. Great. So this is about a two pound fillet. That'll give you four eight ounce fillets. Okay. And first I'm gonna cut it into four fillets by cutting it in half. And then we're gonna cut each half in half for a total of four pieces. Pat it dry. And all it needs is a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. Here is two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna rub it all over the fish on both sides. A little rub down. A little rub down before his sauna. <laughs> Here we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna put these on a plate and let them hang out in the refrigerator until we're ready for them. That way they stay nice and fresh because it's gonna go on the sheet pan last. Okay. All right, so into the fridge it goes. With that tucked away, it's time to start with the potatoes and the broccoli. But first, the sheet pan. The star <laughs> of the dinner. You need it for a sheet pan dinner. You do. And so it's a nice big uh, sheet pan. It's about 11 by 18. Gives you plenty of surface area to work with. Also, notice it has nice size. Don't use a rimless baking sheet here. All the juices will come all the way off all over the bottom of the oven. <laughs> so, don't do that. Don't do that. No, we're just going to prep the sheet pan with a tablespoon of oil. We're just going to brush it on nice and evenly. So starting with potatoes, now the size of the potato matters. You want small potatoes that are about an inch, inch and a half in size. And if you use red potatoes, you don't need to peel them. One less prep you have to do. And we're just gonna cut them in half. That'll help you cook more evenly and it gives you that, that nice surface on the bottom to get good and nice. brown. Mm -hmm. But you do wanna use waxy potatoes in a situation like this because they will hold together better than something that's starchier like a russet. That's right. We're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil and half a teaspoon each salt and pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna toss this around. Onto the sheet pan they go. I'm gonna flip them all cut side down. They all have enough room around each little potato so they can get good and brown all the way around. That's it. Onto the broccoli. Now, these are broccoli crowns. We love using whole uh, bunches of broccoli because those stems taste good, but the stems, trying to incorporate them into this fussy cooking time, not so easy. <laughs> so for this, buy crowns. Trim off the bottoms, and very often there are some dry pieces on that stem. So I'm just cutting these down into about two inch size florets. I love roasted broccoli. Yeah, you're not much of a broccoli oh. lover at all, but roasted broccoli, Julia told me one time, was a complete game changer for Yeah, her. it tastes yeah. like popcorn. We call it yeah. popcorn broccoli in our house. Ooh, we call it potato chip broccoli. <laughs> oh, anything to get the kids to eat broccoli, right? <laughs> all right, so into the bowl, a little more oil, tablespoon, quarter teaspoon of salt. Potatoes got a half, broccoli gets a quarter quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. We do the tossy tossy. You wanna make sure it's all good and coated. All right, onto the sheet pan it goes. Now, the last trick I've got up my sleeve is a hot oven, 500 degrees. Cause you really wanna maximize the heat to get these things brown quickly. Into the oven. Thank you. You're welcome. So notice I have the rack on the bottom of the mm -hmm. oven. This is good because it really concentrates the heat onto the sheet pan so things get good and brown. That's flavor. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna take between 22 and 24 minutes. And of course, we're gonna rotate that sheet halfway through. We're looking for the potatoes to be light golden and the broccoli to be dark golden. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's been about 23 minutes. Ooh. Nice color. Yeah, look at that broccoli, nice and golden. Mm -hmm. And it is done. So I'm gonna put it onto a platter and make room for the salmon. I'm using a nice flexible spatula. This is actually a fish spatula, mm -hmm. but it does really well at getting under things that are a little bit stuck to a sheet pan to make sure you get all the browning and it doesn't stay behind on the pan. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna cover this with foil, keep those warm. Now the fish cook very quickly. And before we put it on the sheet pan, I'm just gonna scrape off any of those browned bits. All right, right onto the hot sheet pan, skinned side down. I'm gonna lay the salmon side by side, but leaving a little room between. All right, and back in the oven, okay. this goes. 
We're gonna cook it for about 11 minutes until the salmon reaches 125 degrees. Of course, we're gonna rotate it halfway through. Okay. And key, the salmon starts in a hot oven, but we're gonna let it cool down to 275. And that's going to prevent the salmon from drying out. All right, 275, there it goes, 11 minutes. In well, the meantime. In the meantime, <laughs> we're gonna make a little sauce. Now right. this sauce, one of my all-time favorites. You can put this on anything, styrofoam, cardboard, it'll make it taste good. <laughs> so here I have a quarter cup of chopped chives. To it, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. Whole grain mustard, one of my all-time favorite condiments. Another two tablespoons. A little lemon juice. This is two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. Mm. Last but not least, a little honey, a little something to balance all that mustard. And this is just a teaspoon of honey. A little salt, a little pepper. You want to taste it or do you want to be surprised? I want to be surprised. All right. So we're just waiting on that salmon. All right. All right. Oh, doesn't that look good? Beautiful color. Cook the salmon until it reaches 125 degrees. So let's take a temperature here of this salmon. Always a good idea to check Ooh. the salmon or anything that you're checking right in the thickest part of the meat. That's it. And she's done. All right. So now we're going to transfer all this loveliness to a nice big platter. Ooh, look at those potatoes. Yes. You see that? That's what you're after. Oh, those potatoes look good enough to eat. <laughs> I love it when they get a little wrinkly on top. That's how you know they're nice and creamy on the inside. We call those Sharpe potatoes <laughs> at home. I like that. <laughs> and for the salmon, again, a fish spatula makes it nice and easy. You're really oiling the pan ensures that uh, salmon's going to come off. That's it. Last but not least, mm -hmm. this long guy. A little sauce on top. All right. Isn't she a beauty? Gorgeous. I mean, can you imagine pulling this out on a Tuesday night? You look like a rock star. I feel a little um, underdressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me give you this nice end piece. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That was stunning. I'm gonna get some broccoli. And I'm gonna like mm. it. And you are gonna <laughs> love it. A few extra potatoes <laughs> for you. Yeah. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. All right, I'm tucking in. Mm-hmm. I love how the salmon just flakes apart into these juicy flakes. So absolutely succulent. Mmm. Ah, oh, and the creaminess on the inside of those potatoes. Mm -hmm. 35 minutes. You get the salmon. You get the potatoes, the broccoli. You also get a sauce to go with it all. This is elevated. Weeknight meals, I think. Right? Yeah, very elegant and very easy. And the key to an easy one pan dinner, well, it's all about keeping it simple and taking turns. Season and dress salmon, potatoes, and broccoli with olive oil. Roast potatoes and broccoli separately on the same pan. Move the broccoli to a platter, then roast the salmon with the potatoes until it's all cooked through. Serve with a mustard chive sauce, and that, my friends, is dinner. Mm -hmm. So from Cook's Country, our fabulous, game-changing, one-pan roasted salmon, potatoes, and broccoli. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>